Hey everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back to share my next project in the 13 Haunted Projects of Halloween series. And today I I did promise you guys a little while back when we created the um, Traveler's Tea Holder in the wallet style that I would be back. I would try to figure out a wallet style for the hot cocoa packets and I did so I was really happy the other day I went to the Dollar Tree and they had the Swiss Smiths with the marshmallows already in it um, and you get six packs for a dollar so when I saw this I thought you know what I don't know about you guys but I love drinking hot chocolate all year round I don't think it's just a Christmas beverage I I really love to have hot chocolate so I wasn't going to wait till Christmas to share this with you guys, and I designed one in a Halloween theme. So, the paper pad that I used for this is the Trick or Treat from Paper Studio. Got this at Hobby Lobby a few years ago, and I actually got two paper pads, so I still have a ton of paper pads with me. So the trick-or-treat sentiment you see here was just from a random stamp that I had in my collection. And then this embellishment we made um, in yesterday's video. I'll post a link below to that if you'd like to make this cute little jack-o'-lantern trick-or-treat pail. But this is the front and the top, side view, back. And the bottom there's a magnet closure so in the top here you have a few options especially for Christmas time when you give a sweet treat like I love to send a lot of gift cards it's a little bit cheaper for me to do that with family members because sending big packages of gifts can get rather expensive for all the people I have to send to but I'd like to also send something a little extra so I made this that you could put a gift card holder on this side and then you could put your little greeting card on this side. So this is what we're going to do today. But if you did not want to do a gift card and you wanted this whole section to be your greeting card like that and then just stamp your sentiment and write a nice message to somebody, you could do that as well. And I will give you the measurement for the greeting card option. This mat here measures six and a half by two and a half. So if you don't want to make this option, you might want to write both of them down so that you could just do a greeting card or the gift card greeting card option. I want you to have both. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. But anyway, this is the top. And then folds down like this. So I think it came out of cute. I really kind of cute. I really racked my brain trying to figure this whole thing out. It was driving me nuts, but I finally, I finally did. <laughs> um, so in this area, you have two side pockets. One holds um, a hot cocoa with marshmallows, and then you have two. You have a, a large, very large pocket down here that you can tuck in two of the hot cocoa packets here. And since there's three on this side, I tucked in three of these spoons. Now these are appetizer spoons, and I picked these up, the gold ones, at Hobby Lobby. You get 25 in a pack. And of course, I used a coupon. I love my coupons. Um, but they also sell these at the Dollar Tree if you want them in silver. they um, I don't know how many you get in a pack, but they have silver ones there for a dollar. They didn't have the gold, and that's kind of what I wanted. So, um, Because I'm doing some Christmas projects with spoons, and I, I like the gold to match the paper. Anyway, that's why I did it. So if you don't want to add the spoons, you can take the spoons out, and you actually have room for four hot cocoa packets and it still closes up with the magnetic closure 
so that's just an option for you. Also, if you don't want to do four cocoa packets, you can tuck in some, maybe two of those mini Hershey bars in here that they can melt into their hot chocolate to make it even chocolatier. That's even a word. Um, but, you know, there's so many options you can do with these and what you can tuck into the pockets. It's, it's really up to you. But this is the one we're going to create today. So, let's get started. Okay. I used nice bright paper so that I would show up um, pretty decently on the camera. By the way, I forgot to tell you, some people do like to know this, and I'm very sorry about that. The, um, the sentiment, hope your Halloween is full of sweet surprises, came from this stamp set, Darcy's Heart and Home. It's the Ghostly Greetings. I purchased this at Not Too Shabby. Boo to You came from the Halloween Jar Filler, and that is from Paper Tray Ink. The Sweet and Spooky Sentiments on each of the side pockets came from this, Darcy's Heart and Home sweet and spooky set purchased that at not too shabby and the happy halloween down here just came from one of my random stamp sets from my yard sale sorry about that i wanted to cover that because i i do get questions on on those things also my magnets that i buy i'm going to post a link below i'm not affiliated to any of these places but a lot of you like to know where to get them these super thin magnets, I've been purchasing this from the same seller for a long time. Um, it's on eBay, and I will make sure I post a link below to that as well if you'd like magnets. If you don't want a magnetic closure, you don't have to have one. You can just tie a ribbon around the whole thing, or um, you know, going this way, or before you mat your back piece, you can lay a very long ribbon underneath, mat it, turn it around and tie your bow here so that's entirely up to you as well but I will try to make sure I post all the links because I know when I watch a video and I see something and I'm like oh where'd they get that I you know I, I really appreciate a link to it and by the way if you watched the um, embellishment video yes or no the tassel video I did say I was gonna post a link to Cheryl G's channel and I forgot well, I went in this morning and posted it. So it's there if you guys want to learn how to make those tassels I showed you. Okay, so you're going to have to start. Sorry, that was a lot of talking. You're going to start out with a sheet that measures 12 by 7. 12 by 7. You're going to line it up at the 12 inch mark. You're going to score at 3 inches. Again at three and three quarter inches, seven and a half, and eight and a quarter. So three, three and a quarter, seven and a half, eight and a quarter. You're going to set that aside. That's our base. Okay, it's already scored, but we're going to keep our scoreboard out because we have a lot of scoring to do. Okay, this is for the gift card pocket. The base for the gift card pocket measures four and a half by one and a half inches. You're going to line it up and score it on three sides. So the two small sides at a half inch, one of the long sides at a half inch, again the other smaller size, side, sorry, at a half inch. I'm going to fold up those score lines. We're going to cut off our corners. And 
It is so beautiful out today, guys. It's been raining like crazy, and it's just so nice to see the sun. I'm going to fold my two sides in, and I'm going to add a little bit of glue to these bottom corners here. Fold it up. Feels a little wonky to me there. Okay. And then for the mat on the front, measures three and three eighths by seven eighths. So I'm going to mat that really quick. Okay, that's our gift card pocket. I took a one inch circle punch flipped it around so where it's at the top here I just put it in tried to get it in the center as best I could and punched out a little half moon so that when it sits you can pull the gift card out a little bit easier plus it's kind of decorative so we're gonna set that aside for your card the happy Halloween is full of sweet surprises for the card piece here, I measured that out at three by two and a half inches. And then I also rounded my corners. We're gonna set that aside. Put it all together in the end. For our little Um, closure here, this flap you see that has a magnet in it. I'm going to get those pieces out. We're going to put that together right away so we can set that aside. Okay, so the base for that measures one and a half inches by one inch wide, and then I cut my mats for it. And these, let me quickly look that up. Um, closure, closure. The mats for these are 7 eighths of an inch wide by 1 and 3 eighths long. So you're going to cover your front. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. This is where I'm going to add my magnet. So I'm going to take one of my magnets and towards the bottom here, I'm going to add, put a little glue, add the magnet. You don't want it all the way at the bottom, just about right, maybe a quarter inch at the most from the bottom. I'm also going to add a little bit of glue on the top of the magnet. And then my sentiment piece, or my decorative piece, I'm going to add glue over the whole thing. And we're going to mat right over that magnet. And I'm going to hold and press that really well over that magnet. I want that to adhere pretty well. I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to kind of run it all around the magnet just to make sure that paper is nice and secured to the actual base piece. And I'm doing this gently as not to tear the paper. Okay, but we have our magnet inside. This is the front. I'm just going to do this so my other magnet stays on there and it's ready for us when we, when we go to add the magnet to the actual piece. Okay, so our magnetic closure is done. We're going to make our two small pockets. You're going to need two sheets that measure four and five eighths by two inches. You're going to score 
line it up, score a half inch on the short side, a half inch at one of the long sides, and again a half inch on the short side. And you're going to do that to your next piece as well. Half inch, flip, half inch, flip, and half inch. We're going to put this pocket together the same way we did our gift card pocket. Just fold your score lines, cut off the little corners. These make cute little, I, we, my husband and I call it The Great Pumpkin, because <laughs> um, we love that movie, The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, but uh, we call them little Great Pumpkin gifts, if you want to give a gift to somebody. These make great swap gifts as well, when you're, for your swap partners, or happy mail. So I'm going to fold the two sides in again, and we're going to add glue to the bottom corners of the flap and fold it up. Same one this way, two sides in. Glue, glue, and fold it up. And then my mats measure three and a half by one and three eighths. second one and then we'll make our large pocket and then we will start matting the base of our cocoa holder okay two pockets are done large pocket is left here I have a sheet that measures eight by two and a half Again, we're going to score both of the short sides and one of the long sides. Half inch, flip it, score it a half inch, flip it, half inch, and fold up your score lines. And actually, I think we can get rid of this scoreboard. I tried to get all the scoring done so I wouldn't have to keep taking it in and out, in and out. Cut our corners off. I've recently been working on a snowman embellishment. I think that will be my next embellishment video. Um, fold the two sides in. Again, glue on the corner. Glue on the corner. And fold this large flap up. And we're going to mat the bottom pocket here. My mat measures 6 and 7 eighths by 1 and 7 eighths. folder over it and we have that complete we will set that aside and get out our holder so you have a smaller flap up here that of course is the top 
you're going to fold all of your score lines. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to mat the outside first. Okay, so I'm going to flip this over. Well, we can mat the outside and the inside at the same time. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So my outside flat piece here, the orange paper, for the front and the inside measures... Six and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll mat my inside first. So I guess it really doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is when you have pattern paper for the outside, you're going to want to do that a little differently and I'll show you. Then I have a small strip here for the actual um, side piece. These strips measure six and seven eighths by five eighths of an inch. We're going to flip it around and we're going to do the outside. Now because this flap sits this way, you want your image to make sure your image goes this way. So we're actually going to flip it around for this part. Remember this measures 6 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths. Same thing with our little sliver piece, six and seven eighths by five eighths. You want that facing the same way. Okay. So as you can see, when we open it up, this faces, whoop, lost my gift card. It doesn't really matter. This faces this way, but when you flip it around, you want it facing that way as well. But when you go to mat it, we're going to mat this piece upside down. Okay, so turn it around. This measures six and seven eighths by three and five eighths. Same thing on the inside, same measurement, six and seven eight by three and five eight. Then you got another small section here, same as before, six and seven eight by five eighths of an inch. I love doing this because I can use up all my little scrap pieces. <laughs> and then our bottom piece here measures six and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And when we get to the other side for the bottom, we're going to add our magnet, okay? This little section, 6 and 7 eighths by 5 eighths.
before we add our bottom piece, we're going to want to add our magnet in here. So we want to see where our closure is going to land. So fold it up. I like to do it this way. It's just a little bit easier for me. You can do it however you choose. Let's get out our little magnet piece. The magnet piece is the piece you want to glue up here and the magnet's going to hang off of the top so that it magnets to this bottom base piece. So add a little bit of glue above your magnet. Place it on here where you think you might like it in the center, but before you push down, make sure you left enough room for it to adhere to that base piece. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to press down. Run my bone folder over it. And then the easiest way that I know how to do this is put my magnet on here. I'm going to add glue to my magnet. I'm going to close up my box and see where that magnet's going to land and I'm going to press down on that base piece. And then as you can see, you can see where the magnet's going to be from the excess glue. So I just take that off. I add a little bit more glue to that same area and I place the magnet on the base. I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the top of the magnet. Open this up and I'm going to add my last mat. That mat measures six and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And then once we get the mat on, we're going to do the same thing push down on that magnet really well gently push the paper all around it so you know it's nice and adhered down and your paper is not going to lift up around it let's just kind of run my finger over it press down hard on top of the magnet and get my bone folder out and i'm just going to run it along the magnet real gentle just so I know it's glued proper. Oh, flip it around and close it up. Okay. All we have left is to add our pockets. So for the gift card, some of you have seen me do this before. I add my gift card into the pocket itself. And I see where I want to lay it just to make sure I left myself enough room. And I don't want it directly at the bottom here. Kind of like it up a little further, maybe about quarter inch, half inch from that bottom. So I'm going to add my glue to those pieces. And this is an expired or this is a used up gift card, so I'm not really worried if I get glue or anything on it. So it doesn't work anymore. Okay, press down. I'm going to pull my gift card out. And then I'm really going to press down with my bone folder. Right across from it, we're going to put our little greeting. Again, that measures three by two and a half. pretty good. Again, if you don't want to make this option, you can always just make a large card base and that measures six and a half by two and a half. So now that we have these done, we're going to add our two side pockets. Put a little bit of glue on these back pieces. Line them up on the edge. and glue them in this paper section. You do not want to glue near your score lines. 
I'm going to get them nice and centered in this section here. I'm going to glue this pocket down. And then once you have all your pockets glued down when they're when they're nice and dry, don't do it right away or you'll lift the pocket up. But sometimes when we add our pockets and we push them down like this, they get a little tight in there. So I just go in with my bone folder real gent real gentle and kind of loosen them up. And then they take the gift cards and the hot shot. I'm going to let that dry a little bit more. <laughs> I'll show you how I do it then. Then our large pocket's going to go on the bottom here. We're going to glue this up. And put it right on. This one you can line up right to the edge on both sides and the bottom. Press that down. And then real gentle, I go in, loosen up the pocket, loosen up the pocket. Let's get out our th other three hot chocolates. Make sure everything fits in here. Oh, did it on the wrong side. <laughs> of course, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, make sure this fit real nice and secure in there. And get us three more spoons. Not necessarily, I, you know, I don't know if anybody's really going to use these, but I just think it's such a cute addition to add when you're sending a gift. I think they look cute. Okay. Close this up. And just kind of hold everything down. It's nice and secure with our magnet. And then I will probably decorate this one a little bit later. So if you guys have any questions, of course, let me know. I will try to answer them as soon as I can. I hope you guys give this project a try. I think it would look great for a Thanksgiving theme. You could probably put hot apple cider in them if you wanted to. I've seen those packets at the stores. Um, of course, this would look excellent on a Christmas theme, which I'll probably do some and just share them with you how I decorated them but anyway if you give it a try let me know I'd love to see yours and thank you guys so much for watching and being so supportive I appreciate you all take care happy crafting